Hello, in this short video we're going to look at hiding and showing things. There are many reasons why you might want to hide part of your course area from your students. For example, you might be working on material and you don't want the students to see it yet. Or you might not want to overwhelm the students by showing them everything at once. One way is to use the edit link against each item. So for example, if I choose hide from the drop-down, the item becomes dotted, underlined and greyed out and it's now not visible to the students. And I can show it again by choosing show. I can hide an entire section by clicking on the I icon in the section heading, like so. And again, clicking the I again reveals it. If I want to highlight a particular section and draw attention to it, I can use the light bulb icon, which makes everything a kind of strange blue colour. Um, some people find this useful. If you go into a book resource and have editing turned on, you can hide and show individual chapters by simply closing or opening the eye. And again, anything hidden will show up as a greyed out, dotted, underlined chapter title. It's also possible to hide an entire course area, although if you do this, beware, your students may be alarmed. At the moment, I can see that the course area I'm currently working on, the title is actually greyed out and dotted underlined, which means the students won't be able to see it. And I can change this by going into the settings for the course area, going down and looking for where it says visible. And I can now change that to show, and then save the changes. And my course area is now visible to the students. Normally when Talic give you a new course area, it will be hidden by default to give you time to put your content in. But as we've seen, um, you can just simply hide the sections that you're working on and reveal as you need to the students. You can control how hidden items are displayed using the course settings. So if you look for the course format section and click that, you can see you have a choice and hidden sections are either completely invisible or if you prefer they're shown in a collapsed form so that the students will know there's something there but they just won't be able to see what's in there. We tend to provide course areas with hidden sections completely invisible as this tends to be less confusing for students. When you have editing turned on and you have teacher role, it can be rather cluttered and confusing. So if you want to see what it looks like from your student point of view, you can temporarily switch your role. You do this over in the left in the administration block. So I'm going to choose switch role to student. And now this gives an approximation of what the students will see. So I can see it's much clearer. Everything there is correct and there is nothing hidden that shouldn't be. So I can now return to my normal role.